Hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name's Nobby. Thank you for tuning in to episode 44 of our Path of Exile Affliction League playthrough. Playing our Zizarin's Bone Shatter Slayer. We are level 69. Defense-wise, we are good at the minute, although we've sort of lost a little bit of the overcap. But we are capped. That's fine. Um, I could still do with some life. I'd love this to be over 3,000 now. Or at least by the end of this act. Right, we need to go and do... I am back in the desert. Before it reset, we need to go and do... The Syndicate. Now, there are ways to min-max the Syndicate that even I don't fully understand. However, what we're going to do is try and break in here. Kill all the guys in here, and then I'll show you what I mean. There are ways to min-max it. If you do want to min-max it for any reason, then it is definitely worth a Google. For us, it's all about getting the crafting recipes off June. So we'll speak to Riker. We can interrogate Riker. In prison for three turns, plus one fortification, intelligence per turn, plus one rank to rank. Right, we'll execute him. Why not? He'll drop some goodies. He has dropped a veiled item. Speak to Leo. Again. We can do items on this. Execute Leo. Why not? Pick up the dagger. Hillock, what we're going to do with Hillock, I've no idea. Let's bargain with Hillock, why not? Again, there are ways to min-max this, and even I don't understand how it works fully. But, you can kill him, you can release them, you can bargain with them. There are certain people you may want in certain sections. Transportation, fortification, research, or intervention. There are ways to min-max this, if you so wish. What we want to do, more than anything, is get June to unveil the veiled items as in this because what she will do is give us ranks towards crafting recipes or give us new crafting recipes so we've got crit strike multiplier while a rare or unique enemy is nearby now that's no good for us chance to deal double damage while focused or fizz damage over time multiplier right well yes let's use the fizz damage over time multiplier there you go. That's gone up now to rank three. Take that back out. Uh, what else did she give us? This might be worth a look. It's got life, mana, and fire resist. We can give it strength and int. We can give it an increased cooldown recovery, or we can regenerate 200 energy shields while rare or unique enemies are nearby. Uh, not great, unfortunately. Well, let's have Strength and Int. That gives us the crafting recipe as well. I don't think that's any good for us, though. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. It was worth a look. The other stuff now. There we go. So what we'll come across now, we'll come across June randomly, like we do with Ironheart and Nico and the likes. And when we do, she'll invite us into a, a hideout. We go and kill all the mobs. We then get an option with that tree, whether we want to execute, bargain, release them, whatever we want to do. The main thing we're after as a new player is just bumping up our crafting recipe stocks. If you do want to get into the min-maxing of it, guys, I'll be honest, I don't fully understand it. I would highly recommend you go and have a look and Google if you do want to min-max the, the syndicate tree. Right, we are, where are we? Oasis we've just come into. Uh, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Two under axe, six socket. Work our way through here. There we 
go. Again, I always tend to work around the edge first, then I'll fill in the middle if needs be. Uh, Armour-based gloves. What else is here? A jeweler's strong box. Not one of the ones we want to use currency on, but we'll take it. And there's nothing in it for us. Okay, fine. Uh, right, the sand pit. This is where this queen of the sands optional is. She's probably going to run away now, I think, and open up. She is indeed. Right, we need to run down here. Kill the ads. Avoid the tail swipes. Or try to. <laughs> you knew that were coming, didn't you? Hey. Work our way through here. Should open up this in a minute. There we go. Okay. Right, let's go finish her off. If she stops jumping around, there we go. Daughter. I believe in traveling light. Rest, my child. Be free from the torment. Come on, Sin. Immortality. A mother's keen heart. It's there we go. So there's another. Your own daughter. That one. There you go. Uh, duration of poisons, and you cannot be poisoned while there are at least three poisons on you. Okay, another minor pantheon. Uh, that's it for that one. I would like to now jump back into town quickly try and jump back into the desert, and hopefully it's not reset. It hasn't reset. Good. Right. Let's go back to town and do a quick sell. Hand in these quests. Some of the members. Celerim. You killed Shikar. There we go. Passive skill point. Um I need, I need, that'll do. There we go. Okay. Quick sell on here. I don't think uh, life, fire, and cold resist are really nice on that helm. And it's armor based. The one we've got is massive though, so not quite. Gloves, armor based. Uh, max life is very nice. No resists on those. Unfortunately. I would need to try and four socket them. I'd also need to try and get at least a green and a red together. Uh, ah. You see the life is huge on those and they're armor based. The ones we've got on are still evasion. So these need to be upgraded anyway. But we'd lose two resists. Uh, no, not at the minute. And that's a no. Okay. Skill points, right. We are now. We were sort of trying to connect this up before we took away these few, weren't we? Let me get the skill tree back up. So, yeah, we need to. 
We should be coming this way down to Art of the Gladiator, and then we're heading over this way for some life and mana leech, which would be good, actually. So let's go for this armor evasion and life. Okay, that gets us up to 2760. Not bad, not bad. I need to connect that together, and then we should be able to take these away. But these are fizz attack damage. Now, until we get our third lab, I probably don't want to remove them. So we'll probably keep them up for a little bit. Right. Uh, we are done. We are done. Straight back into the desert. We need to go up to the only way we can go. Which is the foothills, I believe. At least I don't think we can. Let's have a look. No, we definitely can't. We've got 34 mana. <laughs> we might be able to run it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Our mana regen might just be enough that as long as we're attacking and killing stuff, we might be okay. We'll see. Right, into the foothills. Uh, optional to find the calendar. Chance to bleed support. Topaz ring. Uh, chromatic. Okay, at the minute, as long as we're killing stuff, we can sustain that, even on 34 mana and everything else reduced, reserved. Excellent. Right, well, we'll keep going. There's level 70. Excellent stuff. Okay, we do have... A multiple essence dude, which is very nice. We'll take all of these. Another map. That leather belt is how much life? Uh, plus 40. Might be worth a look. Might be worth a look. Anything else here? No. Everything wants to level up though, doesn't it? Okay. Let's get everything leveled up. Right. I would still like to find this calendar of fortune in here. I do love the stink of victory. Some good dropped can we take all of these no I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to if we can um, mm. dex stun lightning damage 
Magic, get rid of. Magic, get rid of. Get rid of. Right, okay. Wow. Okay, we might be turning that rare, you know, just in case. That might... If we can put some resistances on it, that's huge max life. Uh, intelligence, no... All right, they're worth a look. They were worth a look. Nothing for us, unfortunately. A yellow two-stone ring. Again, always worth a look. We have a Val zone here. Right. Looks like we are going to have to jump into town and come back. I'm just going to clear this side. Another jeweler strong box, and not the one we want to use currency on. But we'll just bop it anyway. Here we go. Is this going to be the calendar quest? I think it might be. It is indeed. Can we pick it up? We can't. Can't even take the armor of scraps. Right, we need to drop something. Let's drop the chest then. Okay, that'll do. It's bad when, when you can't even drop up a currency. You know you are full. Alright, I think this bottom section's as good as clear. So let's just get back up to the Val Zone. We'll go and run that. Just do a portal out. Let's go do a cell. See if there's anything that was worth playing with. That belt may definitely be worth playing with. We also need to just connect that up. That was the next skill point. Uh, passive respect points. Okay, I'll take them in a second. Let's do a sell first. The two stone ring. 15 to fire and lightning. 34 to max life. Bit of mana as well, which wouldn't go amiss. Dex is sort of helpful. Um, Lightning is the one we can afford to lose, though. So, ideally... It's cold and fire that we want. Never mind. Immunity to poison. Uh, no, we'll keep with the one we've got. Cold resist on armor we can guarantee. Not too bad. Uh, fizz damage. Again, that's all right. Two-handed weapon, we can use that. Uh, fizz damage least is life or max life on armor. Again, we could use that. They're not bad essences, to be fair. Right, this belt. This belt. We have the currency... Where's it gone? Upgrade a magic to a rare. Okay. It's got huge life, and it's got one lightning resist. Um, <laughs> typically, it's lightning resist that we don't need. Because we've got tons of it. Um, and, that only got one extra affix on it when it could have had up to about another four uh, but it's 108 max life in total <laughs> so do we go and craft a resist on it and just run with it what would we be losing um, a little bit of crafted max mana and stun duration on enemies I suppose oh well that's rude I'll tell you what I'm going to leave it there for now. Because <laughs> that life is huge.
We'll go into the Val Zone. Let's go and run the Val Zone. This is a question, isn't it? This is a, a what would you do? Superior map. Very nice, bit of quality on that one. ones that drop the lightning they really hurt that's what got me last time wasn't it or the first time the only time i should say <laughs> in act eight it was those lightning ones uh chromatic let's take that one keep out of the way of that fire hey a chaos orb and an eternal flask excellent we'll have a look at that one Sacrifice at dawn, sacrifice at dusk, a Val domination, not a skill we're going to use, but we'll take it anyway, thank you. Let's jump back into the foothills. Okay. Let's keep working through here. All right, we're into the tunnel. This is where, if you remember, the um, the trial is. Let's go and see if we can find that. It should pop up and tell us. Solve the trial in this area. Fantastic. this way here is the trial it looks like and that was a map it was indeed <laughs> this is what you want you want plenty of maps dropping between now and the end of act 10 as many as you can get your grubby mitts on right trial which one is it? Oh, it's these spike traps. Right, I'm never any good at these, but go on. We'll give it a go. See if we can't just... Ooh, zerg, zerg, zerg. Yeah, I didn't do very well there, did I? Here we are. We're here. Right, we're good. <laughs> we're safe. Crafting recipe. Uh, all attributes rank 2. Okay, that's the trial done. Happy days. Right then, let's push our way through here. Point. That's what we want. Lovely jubbly. Right, jump back to town. Let's do a sell. Anything good? Still contemplating the um, <laughs> the belt. What do we do with the belt? Eternal life flask, instant recovery, but reduced amount recovered. Unfortunately, I don't want that. We're selling that one. We'll keep hold of that utility flask. Keep hold of the Val gem. I don't think there's anything else useful to us there. Okay. Good luck. All right, we're still getting the same two pieces for the map, unfortunately. 
Talking of map pieces, right, that's one of each of the tier ones. At least. Oh, the belt, the belt, the belt. What to do with the belt? Because typically... Now, I could use a Chaos Orb and try and re-roll the stats, but if I do that, it's going to lose that second life. And that's the big one, the plus 68. I mean, the belt we've got has got plus 54. I can put... I could put double resistance on it, a bit of fire and cold. Oh, we're losing a lot of fire, actually, aren't we? Let me put that in. Uh, no, we go down to 47. That's no good. Right, okay. Unfortunately, then, that pretty much does it. Because, yes, I could put fire resist in and replace the fire resist we're losing. We are gaining more life, but that's all we're gaining. We're losing mana. We're losing stun duration. Mm, as much as that life is nice converting that to rare just rolled one extra modifier which is rubbish if that had three or four to play with it might have been okay uh, typical that wasn't it right anyway on that sad note <laughs> it's time to say thank you for watching folks really do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos if you are enjoying again please drop a thumbs up on them it does massively help other people if you're new around here please consider subscribing to the channel and i'll see you again soon for the next one take care <laughs>